Hello, I'm Dr. Ovet Villavicencio, but my patients like to call me Dr. V. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist and cornea specialist at Catalina Eye Care in Tucson, Arizona. I have practiced ophthalmology since 2011 and have managed and treated keratoconus patients since 2014. If you are watching this video, it's likely that you or someone you care about has been diagnosed with keratoconus. It is a frustrating and debilitating disease. Today, I'm excited to share with you information about an investigational new treatment for keratoconus called EpiSmart Epithelium On Corneal Crosslinking, which is currently in a phase three FDA trial. I am one of the investigators in this clinical study. Keratoconus is a progressive eye disease where the cornea, the clear front surface of the eye, thins and bulges into a cone-like shape. The distorted shape can lead to significant visual impairment and affect daily activities like reading and driving. Keratoconus can start in young children and can range from mild to severe. Unfortunately, it is a progressive disease, so many patients get worse over time. Typical symptoms of keratoconus include decreased visual acuity, double vision, and light sensitivity. In early stages of the disease, glasses and or contact lenses can correct the vision, but often fail to work in more advanced disease. Fortunately, intervention with corneal cross-linking treatment can slow or even stop progression. Traditional cross-linking requires removal of the corneal epithelium or corneal surface layer. After removing the epithelium, a riboflavin solution is applied to the eye, followed by exposure to ultraviolet light. This is called epi-off cross-linking. Removal of the epithelium is required to allow the photosensitizing riboflavin solution to penetrate the cornea. While effective, this method can cause significant discomfort, requires a long recovery period, and is performed in one eye at a time. Epion cross-linking, as the name implies, leaves the epithelium on, which may reduce discomfort, speed up recovery time, and minimize the risks of scar formation and infection. Because Epion is less invasive, both eyes may be treated at the same time. EpiSmart Epion corneal crosslinking has the potential to significantly advance the treatment of keratoconus. The safety and efficacy of this treatment is currently being studied as part of an FDA phase three clinical trials being conducted at more than 20 locations in the United States. The EpiSmart procedure involves two key steps. First, the patient lies down and anesthetic eye drops are used to numb the eyes. Using a tiny sponge, the cornea is saturated with a patented riboflavin, which is a vitamin B2. Once sufficient drug penetration is confirmed, the cornea is exposed to ultraviolet light from a proprietary medical device capable of treating one or both eyes simultaneously. This UVA light activates the riboflavin solution forming new bonds between collagen fibers in the cornea, which helps strengthen and stabilize it, thereby limiting further deterioration. The intact epithelium helps minimize discomfort and may allow faster recovery. Throughout the treatment, the patient may feel slight pressure, but typically experiences minimal discomfort. The goal of the phase three trial is to find out how well EpiSmart works compared to a placebo or sham treatment. A placebo or sham treatment looks and feels like the study treatment, but does not involve active study drug or ultraviolet light. By now, you may be wondering if you can participate. To be eligible to enroll, you must be eight to 45 years old, diagnosed with keratoconus in one or both eyes, and have had no previous eye surgeries. Your study doctor will need to evaluate additional criteria to determine if you qualify for the trial. A study coordinator will talk to you on the phone, ask questions about your eyes, your vision, and steps you have taken so far to manage your keratoconus. If you initially qualify, you will schedule an in-office visit. This will be similar to an eye exam, but will include specialized imaging of your cornea. If during this visit you are determined to be a candidate for the study, you will be scheduled for your future treatment. When considering participating in the EpiOn corneal cross-linking trial, it is important to have a thorough discussion with the study coordinator and your study doctor. 
Here are some questions to consider. Is EpiSmart corneal crosslinking suitable for my stage of keratoconus? What are the potential risks and benefits of the treatment? How long is the recovery process? What can I expect in terms of vision improvement? Now let's cover the most common questions we receive about the study. Where are the clinical studies being offered? Ophthalmologists across the country are participating in these clinical studies. You can find the study center closest to you at epiontx.com forward slash patient dash info. What are my costs to take part in this study? The EpiSmart study treatment and all study-related assessments will be provided to you at no cost. Will I be paid to take part in the study? Participants will be compensated for their time. Details will be provided to you by a study coordinator at the location that is most convenient for you. How long will I participate in this study? You will participate in this study for approximately 12.5 months and will visit the study center up to 12 times during this period. What risks are involved if I decide to participate? There are possible risks involved with any clinical study. Your study doctor will review the risk with you and answer your questions, and you'll be closely monitored throughout the study. How do I know if I received the active EpiSmart treatment versus the placebo or sham? The study group assignment is masked, meaning participants and caregivers will not know the treatment assignment. The treatment is randomly assigned by a computer. At the conclusion of your treatment follow-up period, you'll be told which treatment you received, active or placebo or sham. What if I received the placebo or sham treatment? Participants who initially qualify and receive the placebo or sham treatment will be given the opportunity to receive the active EpiSmart treatment at the end of the study at no charge. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with keratoconus, EpiSmart Epion corneal crosslinking could be a beneficial treatment option to consider.